The Africa's Business Heroes Prize, now in its second year, is a flagship philanthropic program created by the Jack Ma Foundation's Africa Netrepreneur Prize Initiative, part of a 10 years commitment to support and foster Africa's entrepreneurial ecosystem. Let's meet the Nigerian man who came second in this competition and goes home with a sum of $250,000 grant prize. Olua Shoga Oni, CEO and co-founder, Medas Global. Thank you for joining Thank us, you for Shoga. Thank well, you I'm finding it difficult to pronounce your name. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That's Shoga, right? Congratulations. Olua, Olua, Olua Shoga. Olua uh, Shoga. Absolutely. Congratulations. Yeah. Now tell us Thank you. what this competition has been like for you and what for you stood out from perhaps other Nigerians that participated. Yeah, um, thank you so much for having me. Um, uh, this competition was amazing. It was challenging. It was very, very competitive. And we're just so privileged to be one of the winners of this competition. I think that uh, one of the things that we, we, we have learned how to do is tell our own story. And I think that one of the things that shines through through the several rounds we have to go through at this competition is that we're able to tell the story that of the business, the kind of business we're trying to build. And I think one thing that also resonated with the judges is that the deep impact happening in society. Um, we're an organization who builds a break, um, technical diagnostic facility. Um, and we're targeting tier two, tier three cities in Nigeria and hopefully across Africa. Uh, the depth of the impact we, we, of what we're building and combined with the narrative we tell about what we built was what helped us out. And we're absolutely privileged to, to be one of the winners of this competition. Now, what lessons would you say you have learned from it and how can you replicate that towards the growth and development of the country? Yes, I think that... Um, you know, this competition was a competition we had to we participated in um, in the middle of a pandemic. Um, and this competition was eight months long and several rounds of interview with different judges, including an audit of our financials. Um, I think that one of the things that we were able to do here was to kind of like adapt at each level. And also remember, this was a time where, you know, you had the protests and everything going on in Nigeria. So we had to adapt at each, stage, at, at, at each stage of the competition, we had to adapt. And I think that the ability to adapt is a very important trait, trait for any entrepreneur in Nigeria and across Africa. So, so that's what I would say to that. Now, what do you plan to do with this grant of yours? Yes, um, so this grant is well spoken for at the moment. We are an organization that build and operate diagnostic centers. And so we are going to use this grant to build at least three or four more diagnostic centers, also in tier two, tier three cities in Nigeria. So um, we really want to continue to do the work we do. We want to build more of these locations and we bring like really high quality diagnostics to these communities. And we want to find more communities that need the kind of diagnostics we provide. And, and we want to have that, let them have it. Now you are in the health sector. And of course, this is all about entrepreneurial development in Africa. So what advice do you have for entrepreneurs in Nigeria, particularly startups, not necessarily in the health set sector, but other you know, sectors, considering the difficult operating environment we have here in the country? Yes, um, Nigeria is a very difficult place to do business in. Um, but I think that what I would say to all entrepreneurs out there is to, to not give up to always um, make sure that they have, they, they find a compelling problem to solve and kind of focus on solving that problem in very meaningful way, very meaningful ways, find a unique value proposition and kind of like just kind of give it your best. Um, and, you know, we when we started, we went through a lot of ups and downs and we were able to navigate everything. And when we needed to pivot our business to something else, we had to do that. And that's what I would tell any entrepreneur out there, you know, go out, solve a really important problem in society. And if you need to change the business a little bit to account for your context, please do that and, and never give up. Thank you very much, Olua Sugar. Continue to shine. Thank you. We appreciate your time and congratulations once again.
Thanks for having me.